वेलकम टू नॉलेज हब विथ एच के आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज सिट्रिक एसिड फर्स्ट वील गेट टू नो द हिस्ट्री द सिट्रिक एसिड डिस्कवरी हैज बीन क्रेडिटेड टू मुस्लिम केमिस्ट जाबर इब्न हयान ऑफ एट सेंचुरी सिट्रिक एसिड वॉज फर्स्ट आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम लेमन जूस एंड क्रिस्टलाइज इन द ईयर सेवेंटीन एटी फोर बाई कार विलियम्स फिले टिल नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिट्रिक एसिड वॉज मेनली प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम लेमन जूस has been known as natural plant substance since the end of 19th century since 1893 scientists have known that it can be produced by filamentous fungi in 1923 p fizer first started citric acid production in the united states by using aspergillus niger by surface culture method the fermentation using deep wart fermenters began in 1930s Today about 99% of world citric acid comes from microbial fermentation. Moving on to its introduction, citric acid is a weak organic tricarboxylic acid found in citrus fruits like lemon, oranges, tomatoes, beets, etc. are the fruits which contain sufficient amount of citric acid and they are classified as acid fruits. Citric acid is a primary metabolic product and is formed in the tricarboxylic acid cycle TCA cycle therefore it is present in every living organism Citric acid is produced by three methods first is fermentation the second method is chemical synthesis and the final is extraction from the extraction from the citrus fruit the citric acid structure have given in this slide and chemically it is a 2 hydroxy propane 1 to 3 tricarboxylic acid the number of microorganisms are used for the production of citric acid like the genera of fungi yeast and bacteria such as penicillium lutrium penicillium purpurogenum penicillium restrictum penicillium citrinum Nucar, Piriformis, Trichoderma viridae, Arthrobacter, Paraffinus, Cornibacterium species. These are the various type of strains can be used for the production of citric acid. But the best known strains are Aspergillus niger, Aspergillus pinti, Aspergillus clavatus, Penicillium luteum, Penicillium citrinum are best known. strains for the production of citric acid for improved industrial production of citric acid mutant strains of aspergillus niger have been developed because these strains can tolerate high sugar concentration and low ph of 3 to 6 which produces the which reduces the which reduces the synthesis of desirable byproducts like oxalic acid isocitric acid gluconic acid which are also a industrial important product these mutant strains have high efficiency that means high yielding strains they can be easily cultivated biosynthesis of citric acid the metabolic pathway involved in citric acid biosynthesis biosynthesis are the emp pathway and dca cycle Glucose is the predominant carbon source for the citric acid production. The biosynthesis of pathway of a citric acid production involves glycolysis where glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate. Pyruvate in turn forms acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate which condense to finally give citrate. During the production of citric acid there is a increase in the activity of enzyme called citrate synthesis. synthesis while the other enzymes are inhibited like eco econ econitase isocitrate pyruvate carboxylase that converts pyruvate to oxaloacetate is also a key enzyme in citric acid production here the biosynthesis pathway i have given here as you can see glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate through glycolysis pathway and With the help of pyruvate carboxylase enzyme, pyruvate is converted into oxaloacetate, and it is finally condensed to form a citric acid with the help of citrate synthase enzyme. Moving on to 
factors involved in the production of citric acid first the inoculum is prepared the using the spores of aspergillus nigestrans required to inoculate shallow pans are produced by growing the fungus from a stock culture on a suitable solid sporulation medium at 25 degrees celsius for 4 to 4, 4 to 14 days suspension of spore is obtained by sus suspending the grown spores in a suitable diluent such as water containing wetting agents spores of inoculum are added to the production medium so as to keep them floating on the surface in the process of surface culture method this may be accomplished by a suitable special inoculating device moving on to carbon source the carbon source a wide variety a uh, wide range of raw materials can be used for the supply of carbohydrates this includes molasses of sugar cane and sugar beets starch of potatoes date syrups cotton waste banana extract sweet potato pulp pineapple waste water etc a high yielding of citric acid production occurs if the sugar that are ra ra rapidly metabolized are used example sucrose glucose maltose the concentration of carbohydrates significantly influence the citric acid production ideally the sugar concentration should be of around 12 to 25% moving on to nitrogen source ammonium salts nitrates and urea are the nitrogen source used in the media for citric acid production if molasses are used for nutrient supply addition of extra nitrogens are not required trace elements are important but in small amount if the concentration of trace elements exceeds the optimum it results in toxic effects the trace elements used are like uh, copper manganese magnesium iron zinc and molybdenum are required in ppm ppm parts per million range for the optimum yield of citric acid moving on to ph the ph of the medium is maintained at 5 during tropophase whereas at ph 3 maintained during idiophase the low ph during idiophase suppress the formation of oxalic acid and gluconic acid because we are interested in citric acid for, uh, so this should be suppressed and also reduces the risk of contamination by other microorganisms commercially citric acid can be produced by two process namely surface fermentation and submerged fermentation surface fermentation is again divided into solid medium and liquid medium surface fermentation uh, this is characterized by growing the microorganisms uh, in a layer or a film or on a surface in contact with the nutrient medium which may be solid or liquid in nature thus the surface process has supposed supported growth system the microorganisms are grown on nutrient surface can be solid can be liquid so moving on to solid medium first type so, uh, first type of surface fermentation solid medium surface process using solid substrate are particularly carried out in less developed area of some asian countries the solid substrates such as wheat bran pulp from sweet potatoes are used as culture media ph of the medium is adjusted to 4 to 5 and then sterilized now the inoculum in the form of spores of aspergillus niger is spread as a layer of around 3 to 6 thickness centimeter thickness and incubated at 28 degrees celsius the growth of the organisms can be accelerated by the addition of alpha amylase solid state fermentation taken about takes about 80 to 100 hours for maximal production of citric acid at the end of the process citric acid can be extracted into hot water and isolated we will study the recovery uh, at the end of the slide because recovery is similar liquid server uh, no uh, liquid surface fermentation the second type of surface fermentation surface fermentation using liquid as nutrient medium is the oldest method for the citric acid production and it is still used due to sample technology simple technology low energy cost and high reproducibility further the interference or 
interference of trace element metals are and dissolved oxygen tensions are minimal. About 20% of citric acid is produced by liquid surface fermentation. The nutrient supply for surface fermentation usually comes from wheat molasses. The fermentation is carried out in aluminium trays filled with sterile nutrient medium. The inoculum in the form of spores is spread over the medium. The sterile air is passed for supplying oxygen as well as cooling the heat. The temperature is maintained around 30 degrees Celsius during the fermentation. As the spores germinate, it occurs in 24 hours of inoculation. The germination of the spores occurs in 24 hours after the inoculation. A layer of mycelium forms over the medium. The pH of the medium falls to less than 2 as the mycelium growth and form a thick layer on the surface of the nutrient solution. The fermentation is completed after 7 to 15 days. The mycelium is mechanically pressed and thoroughly washed to obtain maximum amount of citric acid. The nutrient solution is subjected to processing of recovery of citric acid. The final yield of citric acid is in the range of 0.7 to 0.9 grams of sugar. Moving on to second type of fermentation that is submerged fermentation. The organisms are immersed in or dispersed throughout the nutrient medium, thoroughly mixed in, in the medium. The um, microorganisms which we are using like Aspergillus niger is going to be immersed, mixed into the nutrient medium. Around 80% of world citric acid is produced by submerged fermentation process. This is the most preferred method due to its high efficiency and easy automation. The two types of bioreactors are used in this process like first is airlift and the second is state tank bioreactor. The vessels of the bioreactors are made up of high quality of stainless steel. The sparging of air occurs from the base of the fermenter, uh, the oxygen, continuous supply of oxygen. The success and yield of the citric acid production mainly depends on the structure of mycelium is focused on the type of microorganism we have used we are using for the citric acid production the mycelium with fogged and bulb hyphae and branches which aggregate into pellets is ideal for citric acid production on the other hand no citric acid production occur if the mycelium is loose and filamentous with limited branches and adequate supply of oxygen of around 20 to 25 percent is required for the good production of citric acid. The ideal aeration rate is in the range of 0.2 to 1 volume per volume per minute. The submerged fermenta have the problem of foam form formation, which may occupy the one third of the fermenta, due to which the contamination uh, chances may increase. Thus, antiform agents such as lead oil and mechanical anti-foaming devices are used to prevent formation of foam. It is estimated that under optimal condition in about 20 to 250 to 280 hours, 100 or 100, 110 grams per litre of citric acid is obtained from 140 grams per litre of sucrose which is with a biomass of 8 to 12 grams per litre. The recovery is common for all. The recovery can uh, can be done through the fermenter liquid is drained off to separate the mycelium. First, the mycelium is separated. In addition, if any intracellular citric acid is present in the mycelium, that can be obtained by pressing the mycelial mat. The recovered fermentation liquor is treated with lime milk forming the precipitate of calcium citrate. Calcium citrate is filtered and washed and then treated with sulfuric acid to liberate citric acid, leaving behind the precipitate of calcium sulfate. An impure solution of citric acid is subjected to decolorization by activated carbon, then it is also demineralized. Finally, the pure citric acid solution is evaporated as in crystallized form from the solution. 
here in a short form first the separation of mycelium has, is going to be done then we are going to add a, a lime milk form which uh, results in the form of precipitate of calcium citrate the calcium citrate is washed and treated with sulfuric acid which liberates the citric acid and the precipitate leaving the precipitate of calcium sulfate the citric acid uh, is taken which is impure and it is subjected to activated carbon for uh, then it it is demineralized the pure form of citric acid is then evaporated as in the crystallized form from the solution production of citric acid from alkenes both yeast and bacteria can be used for citric acid production from an alkenes citric acid yield is better from hydrocarbons compared to sugar that is 145% of citric acid from paraffins the most commonly used organisms is candida lipolytica the fermentation is carried out in batch fat batch or continuous fermentation the ph should be maintained at above 5 major limitations of citric acid production from alkenes are increased are increased production of unwanted isocitric acid very low solubility of alkene these are the drawbacks uses of citric acid citric acid is widely used in food and beverage industries to prevent uh, to preserve or enhance the flavor of fruit juice ice creams etc In pharmaceutical industries it is used as preservatives to store blood tablets ointment ointments etc it is recommended as a source of iron in the form of isocitrate also it is used in the preparation of cosmetics citric acid can be utilized as an agent for the stabilization of fats oil and ascorbic acid Citric acid is also used as a stabilizer of emulsion in the preparation of cheese. So overall, citric acid is useful. Thank you. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.